Hi fellow bakers, it is Chris here, former owner of Down Home Baking Company and Cookies by the Dozen, and by far my most um, watched video is the sugar cookie, no make sugar cookie dough. So today we're gonna follow that up with a chocolate sugar cookie dough. It is delicious, it is so easy to make, and it comes out perfect every time. So let's give it a shot. Really important, first thing. For this one, I use Hershey's Special Dark Chocolate. Hershey's Regular Cocoa Powder will also work. This just gives it a little bit deeper flavor. And we're using confectionery sugar instead of granulated sugar, which gives it a little bit different texture because cocoa powder, cocoa powder is quite dry. So we're gonna start out here with one and a half cups of all-purpose flour, which you'll notice I'm putting in a sifter because we're going to sift all this together, along with our um, powdered sugar, also one and a half cups. Powdered sugar gets very lumpy, so it's real important to sift it. And if you don't have a sifter, it's no worries. Just go ahead and whisk it real, really well together. So we're gonna sift a little bit of this out, and then we're gonna add our cocoa powder in. And just like all the rest, I mix this by hand. So it's super simple. Just gonna sift that a little bit more, get that cocoa powder in there, so that'll all get mixed together. Cocoa powder's quite lumpy, so this really helps to incorporate it. And it also keeps it easily mixed at the end. So even though this takes a little bit more time, it's well worth it. Next, we're gonna incorporate our butter. We're gonna break it in just like you would do for pie dough. And so we'll break it up until it's about the size of peas. And then we'll add our, our um, eggs. Oh, actually, I'm gonna add a little dash of cinnamon. That really just, just a tiny little sliver just really adds a lot of flavor. And we'll put a one or two grinds of sea salt in there too. Cause salt also helps bring out the flavor. Today I'm using a little bit of orange extract where normally I would use vanilla. For some reason I'm actually out of vanilla extract which is so odd because I use it in just about everything. So we're gonna go ahead and just finish that little bit off. You can see there's crumbs. Okay, we're good with that. So we'll set that aside. And then we're going to add our butter. Just opening our units there. So we're gonna add our butter in right to our mixture, we'll flatten that out just a little bit. Add our butter in. Getting ourselves all ready for those Christmas cookies. These roll out really well and then you can cut them out. They're fantastic. They're great with regular traditional uh, royal icing. Put that aside in our garbage bowl. Now, we're gonna go ahead and mix these and because it's chocolate, and it gets a little bit messy. We're gonna use our handy dandy gloves. So we'll put those on real quick and we'll break in that butter. So just go ahead and break that in. Until you get, and it's softened butter. Originally, I used to use just one egg and the dough would, would work. I mean, you could definitely roll it out but it would be a tiny bit dry, and I prefer it a little bit on the wetter side, so that is what I did. So we're gonna get our separate bowl. We always wanna crack our eggs in a separate bowl, not right into our mixture. We wanna make sure there are no shells. And if there are, they're easy to take out. So we'll go ahead and mix that. Put any unused ones in. I'm gonna pour that in here. A little bit of this extract in there. Notice there is no baking powder or baking soda in this recipe. So we're gonna go ahead and just mix that, just as in our other recipe. If you like your cookies a little fluffier, you can go ahead and add some baking powder to it. Um, but I, I like that they hold their shape better this way, so that is what I'm doing. So you'll see that our dough starts to come together. Just keep moving it around the bowl. Moving around the bowl. Once it comes together in a ball, you can go ahead and refrigerate it for about 20 minutes till it's nice and firm. You see it's a little loose. 
It's a lot messy, but it sure tastes good when it's done. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it all together here so you can see what it looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it for 20 minutes and then I'll come back and show you what to do with it. See you in a bit. Hey, it's Chris again, I'm back. The cookie dough has been resting in the refrigerator for a little bit over 20 minutes. I took it out. I'm going to roll it out between two sheets of plastic wrap, which we have done before in our other uh, videos. So you're just gonna roll it to however thick you like it. Um, these cookies at an average thickness take about five to six minutes to cook, um, to bake. And so you wanna make sure that they just don't look raw. Um, obviously, if you like them crispier, you can let them bake a little bit longer. I bake them at 350, like I said, for about five to six minutes, depending on how well done you like them. It's a little bit softer dough and it will harden up as it cools. So if you like your cookies a little bit crisper um, and less of a brownie consistency, then you can just use one egg. Uh, if you like them a little softer, use the two eggs. All right, so I have rolled out our dough. Also a note, um, if you use parchment paper, you will have less spread. If you're using the nonstick foil, you will have a little bit more spread. So I just uh, did a little heart cookie cutter. I have a pan that is prepared, maybe. And we're just gonna cut these out. It's easy to do on plastic wrap because you can just peel the back off. If your dough gets a little warm, like this one does, the chocolate makes it a little bit challenging. You're just gonna sprinkle it with a little bit of flour. It's actually good that that happened, and we're just gonna smooth that flour over the top. This doesn't really affect the taste, it just makes your life a lot easier. Put your plastic wrap back on so that the whole dough is covered, and we're just gonna pick it up and flip it over. Smooth it back out that top layer off. Again, if it gets sticky at any point, you can pop it back into the refrigerator and it will be just fine. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and sprinkle that with a little more flour. It's real warm in here today because it is freezing outside, so our heat is on a lot. So there we go. We're gonna go ahead and cut our cookie then. This time it comes out nice and clean. We'll cut several of those and maybe some stars. Let's push it through. And push it through. And we'll pop those in the old oven for five to six minutes in the middle of the rack. And then this is what you will get when you take it out. Notice that it's, it's still a little warm, so it can bend. Um, they're delicious got a great, great brownie. I and mean, this one had orange extracts with a nice chocolate orange flavor to it. Very similar to a brownie. I hope that you'll try it and let me know what you think. Please comment below if you've made it, if you want to make it, if you have any questions. I try to answer every single question myself in a timely manner and I would love to hear from you. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so. I have a hummingbird cut, a hummingbird cake, easy to say. Um, coming up next. So I hope everybody has a great time baking. Until next time, see you later.